All right, we begin tonight with an active and new tornado warning for parts of central North Carolina. Good evening. Thanks for joining us on CBS 17. I'm Wes Hohenstein. It is now 6 o'clock on Thursday evening. The severe weather that we've talked about for the last few days has finally arrived. As you can see, most of us are dry right now. All of us are drastically warmer and more humid today than we were yesterday. It's that drastic change in temperatures, that big warm up that has energized and destabilized our atmosphere and has led to the severe weather that you see moving in from the west. So let's talk about the active. Uh, let's talk about the active tornado warning right now. It is for Durham. Orange and Person County. While that is the official case, unofficially the storm is not there yet. The storm is actually in parts of Alamance County, right around the Burlington area. So this tornado warning is giving us an early heads up that the possible tornado we have right now in the Burlington area, in Alamance County, that tornado is headed for northern parts of Orange County, northern parts of Durham County, and Person County over the course of the next 30 to 60 minutes. So while nothing is imminent, it could be over the next hour or so. So we all need to stay weather aware. I'm going to scooch over here just a little bit and talk you through what exactly we're seeing. That tornado warning officially goes until 7 o'clock. It is now 6 o'clock, so for the next hour, unfortunately, I'm going to be with you, keeping an eye on this, walking you through what exactly is happening. So again, a tornado watch was issued earlier until 9 o'clock. That's for most of the area, but now we have an actual tornado warning and a possible tornado that is just in and around the Burlington area, moving very quickly off to the northeast. So let's stop our motion right now. The looping, and I'm going to zoom in a little bit uh, closer to what's going on in Alamance County because, again, this is what's heading in our direction. So you can see a lot of heavy rain uh, in and around Burlington, about ready to hit the Mebane area. And I'm going to switch from the classic radar view to uh, our Doppler winds where we can actually see which direction the winds are moving. That's the great thing about Doppler radar. It shows us rain and snow and everything in between, but it also shows us which direction the winds are moving. So when you see these brightly colored reds, but right up against these greens, which we're seeing right in between Burlington and Mebane, that's when we're we're analyzing on the radar that there's some swirling in the clouds and it's really apparent to see, I don't know if you can see it here with me, right around green level. So you see where these reds and these greens are butting up against each other? That's where we're seeing a little bit of circulation. Um, there's kind of a, a folklore old saying that when uh, green meets red get under the bed and that's a reminder to, to meteorologists and scientists and, and you at home like when we're analyzing these storms and we see these red pixels right up against the green pixels that's telling us a story it's telling us we have swirling winds up in the cloud and those swirling winds could eventually form a funnel cloud which could hit the ground and become a tornado. And then we have a whole different set of problems. So there, as we're kind of dialed in live, we just had another sweep go by. And so that, that sweep has moved the storm off to the northeast. So now, instead of being around green level, that storm is about ready to pass in between Alamance and Orange County. So there's the county line. All right, so Orange County is where Hillsboro and where Chapel Hill is, but this storm is potentially going to be much farther north than that. So this is now pushing very quickly to the northeast, about ready to cross over. So you remember that little circulation we talked about? It's now moved from right around green level to up around the county line between Alamance and parts of Orange County. And that's right along Highway 49. And so for those of you in and around the northern parts of Orange County, which is right around Carr and Laws, this is northwest of Schley, if you live in those areas, a possible tornado is headed your way in the next 10 to 15 minutes. If you have friends or family in that area, make sure you give them a heads up. Reach out to them. Make sure they're aware of what's coming their way. Because listen, right now, I'll switch back to regular radar. 
um, you can see that it's just some heavy rain along Highway 49, where it meets up with Highway 86 in northern Orange County. So that area is getting some heavy rain right now, but the circulation is actually back a little farther. Let me draw where that circulation is. It's actually back about right here. So as we're analyzing this storm, I mean, it's a huge storm, right? Look how, I mean, it's big. But it's just this small little section that is producing the possible tornado. And let me clear all that off and just kind of widen out a little bit. And I want to, give me one second, I want to back it out a little bit so we can get some perspective. And, you know, in addition to clipping parts of northern Orange County, this storm is headed for parts of Person County too, and it's moving off to the northeast. And as I'm drawing an air about where this is headed, I mean, who knows if it's going to hold together that long with the circulation, possibly producing a tornado. But this is headed for Person County and the Roxboro area over the course of the next hour. So while a lot of us are still just dry, warm, and windy, um, this storm is going to eventually impact a lot of people, especially northwest of the triangle. So I'll put everything back into motion so you can kind of get an idea. Well, there's one other storm I wanted to mention in parts of Warren County. Not severe, but producing some really heavy rain and a little bit of thunder and lightning. Again, that's over in Warrenton on the other side of I-85, west of 95, northeast of Franklin County, northeast of the triangle. So we have several different storms out there, um, none of which have technically really reached our area yet except for the far northwest corner of Orange County. Give me a second to, to check in with uh, the National Weather Service uh, to see if they have any updates. Um, we do have a, a one storm report I just want to pass along. So we're starting to get some ground proof that these storms are truly, um, uh, you know, doing the damage that we thought they would. We've got uh, some thunderstorm wind damage, some trees down over in Randolph County. Uh, the Guilford County EMS um, has reported, listen to this, an overturned tractor trailer uh, right along I-40 and I-85 in Alamance County. That's where the tornado possibly is right now. That's where our own Steve Sprasia is, right around the Burlington area. And I'm going to ask my producer, can we get Steve uh, either on video or on the phone? I want to talk to him because he's, he's in the heart of it right now in the Weather Beast. And uh, Steve, uh, can you hear me first of all? Here. Okay, Steve, tell I'm us what's here, going Wes. on in Alamance County. I've been listening the whole time, Wes. All right, let me, let me backtrack a little bit. About uh, 545 or so, we got an alert that there was going to be a tornado warning in Alamance County. We had just entered Alamance County. going to show you the sky right now. We were on... Uh, 4085. We got off at uh, Highway 54 West at Riverbend. We pulled over, and you can see. I'm going to show you some video that was taken during our live shot uh, about. Uh 15 minutes ago of what we believe was the funnel cloud from that storm. We could see it quite clearly, and at the time that we were shooting it, we were watching the rotation, we could see that some of the clouds were moving in one direction, some of the clouds moving in another direction. As you indicated, Wes, that's a classic sign of rotation. That was what we were seeing, and then we also could see there was a very fuzzy edge to that, and we were concerned that there was going to be some kind of rain wrap. We saw a lot of vivid lightning happening, including to uh, one, according to our phone, we have the lightning proximity indicator indicated that one struck less than a half mile from us. That's how close the storm was. As we began to watch this thing, all of a sudden the rain swept into us. That's when you lost the signal because basically we were out in the middle of it. The lightning was flashing, the rain was getting. We had to get back inside of the uh, mobile news tracker because we needed that for our safety. That's why you lost our signal. But we believe that that storm, whatever it, it, wherever it's moving towards Durham County and Orange. Uh, Orange County, that thing is going to be rain wrapped, so you're not going to see it coming. So they've got to take the advice of you and everybody else to seek shelter if you're in the position of being near that storm right now, if it's heading in your direction. But again, that thing moved through very, very quickly. What we're seeing right now here in Alamance County is a very heavy rain. We are going to probably begin moving. In fact, you can see our pictures moving right now. We're going to start to make our way towards Durham and Orange County and see what we can see there. But again, this is something 
to take very, very seriously. Reporting live from the mobile news tracker, I'm Steve Sprazier, CBS 17 News. Wes, back to you. All right, Steve, good work. Uh, be safe out there. Meteorologist Melissa Lefevre has joined me. We continue to keep an eye on this storm that the possible tornado in Alamance County, which, as we all know, is our next door neighbor. Mm -hmm. It's headed here next, but we've already seen a lot of damage reports to the west. So what can we expect as that storm comes our way? I mean, Wes, unfortunately, this is what we've been expecting, and we are going to see probably more of those damage reports coming in. And even if there's straight line wind damage, I mean, we have to remember those can still do that significant damage. So if you are getting these alerts, make sure you do have our app downloaded to your devices. You want to make sure you're still getting into your safe space. I think people typically think about going for a tornado warning, but when we're talking about any type of severe storm with these strong winds, you still want to get in that safe space because we can still see that debris flying. Right. This report we got from Guilford County of an overturned 18-wheeler. We all know how big 18-wheelers are. We don't know if it's a tornado. It very well could be damaging winds, straight-line wind gusts, which could be in excess of 60 miles an hour. We've seen more problems in our area with wind gusts than we have with tornadoes. I think they're both equally as serious. Well, and I think that's something that, as we are getting these damage reports coming in, that's where the National Weather Service will then go out and do those surveys and look if we're seeing all of that debris potentially laying in that one direction that's mm -hmm. indicating those straight-line right. winds, or if we see that debris laying down in that rotating orientation that would be indicating of tornadic activity. So we're on with you now nonstop because we have an active tornado warning, a possible tornado that is in the far eastern part of Alamance County getting ready to cross over into parts of Orange, uh, eventually northern Durham, and eventually Person County. It's the storm you see. Let's take it full screen. I want to do a quick little analyzation because we also have just a new severe thunderstorm warning. I want to touch on that real quick. So look at all the yellow boxes across central North Carolina. Everywhere you see a yellow box is where there's a severe thunderstorm warning. Look how most of them are to our west. That's where the line of storms is. That's coming our way. So we're going to see more possible uh, damaging wind gusts and even some hail. So that's what we're going to keep an eye out for. The new severe thunderstorm warning is for parts of Orange County on the southern half. So the tornado warning is for the northern half of Orange County. The severe thunderstorm warning is for the southern half. And when I say severe thunderstorm warning, we're talking about those damaging wind gusts. We're talking about also the possibility of some hail and we're also getting some additional uh, damage reports in from Burlington. We're seeing reports there coming in from reports of multiple roofs off of houses and multiple trees down in Burlington received about 607 with the damage occurring between 530 and 545 and West. Unfortunately that's we were watching that specific system with that rotation lifting up through the Burlington area. Yeah, so let's kind of track where this is now. So based on the reports we've got, an overturned 18-wheeler, uh, roofs getting ripped off houses, trees down, we have to assume that either these winds are bad enough to do a lot of damage or there is a tornado. So let's kind of turn back on our Doppler analytical mode. And what those are, yeah, there's our, so what I'm looking for is... And those of you that have uh, been with us in these long-term severe weather coverages, you know what I'm looking for. We're looking for the red pixels right up against the green pixels. And I know that sounds so elementary, but it, it's a, a very important story. We're getting winds going in two different directions. That's going to create that swirl. And look, it's happening right around uh, the far northern part of Orange County. So this is around where Highway 86 is coming out of Hillsboro and coming uh, out of uh, Durham County, and it meets up with Highway uh, 49 as you head up toward Person County. Mm -hmm. All right, that's where the storm is. So let's do this. Let's kind of go backwards. So I'm going to go back in time here over like the last hour, and I'm going to draw in here, so bear with me here, because we're going to figure out exactly where this is headed next. So there's where our circulation is. We figured that out. So let's go back in time, and we're going to play a little game of connect the dots. Look at that circulation. It was really tight at 601. Tight circulation means there could be some well-defined um, circulation up in the clouds, mm -hmm. and then from there we could eventually get to a tornado. And then let's back it up one 15-minute segment more. So this is right about when we talked to Steve Sprasia. And so look at where this is headed. So it's moving very apparently off to the northeast. About 35 to 40 miles an hour. Exactly. And down. this storm is very quickly going to be on top of you guys in Person County. So I'm not so much worried about Orange County because there's such a small segment of Orange County this is going to impact. Mm -hmm. But... Um, 
Person County definitely in line now. And we'll go back to live radar. So this is getting ready to cross from northern Orange County into parts of Person County. And it looks like we have a couple additional warnings. Mm -hmm. So it looks like we've got a continuation of that tornado warning. And again, this is radar indicated. So not observed yet, but radar indicating as we've been showing you there that there is that rotation for Durham, Orange, and Person County until 7 o'clock. And again, these are moving to the northeast. Now west, they're up to moving 50 miles an hour. Yeah, that's fast. So it's going to be in and out in a hurry, but it's going to get on top of you very quickly. So we're a little closer in. So we're in far northern Orange County. This is about ready to pass into parts of southern Person County. So those of you in and around McDade and Laws, Prospect Hill, Corbett, right around Highway 49, where it meets up with Highway 86 in northern parts of Orange County. And I'll turn back on the analytical mode, and it's still very well defined. Let's kind of go into uh, our debris tracker. So this is just another tool we have. And debris tracker is just what it sounds. If the tornado is picking up some debris, it's going to show up on radar. Exactly. Looking at, again, anything that's non-precipitation being lifted aloft due to the potential for that tornado. So lots of radar shows us lots of different things, and we can kind of get an idea of what this storm is doing. So what we're looking at here is, and I'm going to switch back to this. So remember, this is where the possible circulation is. Well, it's not a possible. It's definitely circulating. We're seeing it. What we don't know is if a tornado is on the ground. But we have all these damage reports, so we've got to take this seriously like it is a tornado. So from there, I want to switch back to our debris tracker. OK, I'm going to leave the circulation up there. Well, no, I'm not. But the circulation was right here. So if there was a tornado that was picking up a bunch of a debris, if we wanted to say right now this is definitely a tornado, the debris tracker mode would be showing us some brighter colors, mm -hmm. something different. I don't see that, but maybe it could be. Either way, we know there's some damage being produced. And, and I think it's important also, Wes, to touch on, even if you're not in that area where we're tracking the rotation, you're still seeing heavy rain, you're seeing gusty winds, and you are seeing that frequent lightning. So not the best conditions. You don't want to be out on the road. You don't want to be outside in any of this. Not at all. And you know, that overturned tractor trailer was on Interstate 40, which, as everyone knows, is one of the main thoroughfares to get uh, east-west across our state. So here's